Hey guys, John the Pilot here. I got some good news. I finally got a pool. Bad news, I had no idea how much it takes to maintain it. From chemicals, to scrubbing, to cleaning it and keeping up with the filter maintenance. It's a lot of work, so naturally, I wanted to figure out how to reduce that work. Oh Google, you're my only friend. Please show me, sir. All right, so you type in pool automation, it gives you a bunch of options, and I'm looking around. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Turns out it has a monthly subscription. No. Oh my God, it looks like you can spend a lot of money on this. Two thousand, fifteen hundred, three thousand. I mean, look at this. I'm about to pull this one up here that I saw. I, yeah, it would be great. Pantera makes one, but God, the cost is three thousand, one hundred and sixty-five dollars. No freaking way. All right, I'm gonna try my luck somewhere else. I saw this before. Hmm, Water Guru, what is this? Checking it out. At the time, they only had the Sense 1 is what I have. Ooh, 10% off, heck yeah. So I went ahead and I picked this bad boy up just to see what it would be like. The Sense 2 that's come out now is pretty awesome. It actually does a lot more stuff for you, which I had because I've had to deal with a bunch of different headaches. But anyways. So the reviews here are from the actual website, so I can't say I exactly trusted them when I first looked. So I took a chance when I bought this thing. But going through Google and seeing all the other options available for $265.50, it's by far the best price option. Now you're probably looking at that going, did he just throw away his water guru? Yeah, I did. However, it turns out the customer service is pretty good. I had a problem with my previous water guru. I sent him an email and they just sent me one on the spot. So the one you're about to see me unbox is actually my third one. So I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Okay, unboxing the third unit they sent me. Here's what it looks like. And the cartridges. Ah, that's a tricky one. The catch about those is you have to keep buying them, and they run about 70 bucks or 60 bucks for three. Sometimes you can get a deal. What you do is you just keep putting those cartridges right in that little slot, and then that's what picks up the water and reads it. So this is the part that covers up your skimmer, and it's also the Wi-Fi and where the batteries go. It does come with batteries. I have no clue what brand that is. I wonder how long they last. So it comes with these test tubes and some mailing packages and what I'm about to show you here is you use those to go ahead and get a full sample of your water to their testing facility. So you scan the QR code on the back of the envelope and you give them a test sample and I'm showing you how you do that now. Stick your hand in all the way about elbow length and then get a good deep end of the pool sample, put it in the envelope and seal it up and go on a journey and find a mailbox. Which I gotta be honest, for me is kind of a hassle because now you gotta wait around for your test sample to come back. Here, check this out. I'm in my truck, I'm trying to find a, a mail drop for the water guru thing. I'm out shopping, so I figured I could find one pretty easy out here. Looking around, see if I can find one. Generally in these business areas or shopping centers, there's a post office box because at least the cool thing is no post is necessary. Oh, cool. There's one right there in front of the CBS. Bye bye There's a quick start guide. You download the app, you follow the instructions, but most importantly, Koopa, 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 right there. Welcome 15, save 15%. You're welcome. So I'm just getting straight into the app. What's going on with the water guru here? It's, this is what happens. The unit checks to see if it's in the water. Right now I'm going in, it'll actually measure the flow to tell you if your water filter is getting clogged or something's happening with your pump, which is actually a pretty cool feature because you can stay on top of that as long as your unit's working. Now this is the catch before. Remember those little cassettes I was telling you? This is where they try to feed them to you and you can buy three packs or one packs and hey, you know what? It's their business model. It makes sense and you know, chemistry needs products and there's all these little scientific things that happen inside these cassettes. So obviously you gotta buy them. That's just the way it works. All right, finally it says measuring. It literally takes as long as it says, eight to 10 minutes. So then it gives you a readout, which brings you this screen. Cool thing is, it will tell you exactly what you need to add, depending on what type of chemicals you're using or what's needed. As you can see, my free chlorine is at 2.9 parts per million, and then my pH is at 7.5 parts per million. So that gives you 
what you need to adjust your chlorine and if you need to add any acid. Now the Sense 1 only does pH measuring and chlorine measuring and I think the flow. It might do a little bit more. The Sense 2 that came out is supposed to take care of everything else for you that has to do with that water sample which took me a total of six days to get back which is terrible because a lot of things can happen in six days if you're not taking care of your pool correctly like algae blooms or gosh I don't know I don't know what else I've had happen to me. But the point is it's supposed to be able to read that stuff for you so you can just dump it in the water and go on about your business. And the other thing too is, is actually it sucks is this water guru has made me an expert of testing my own chemicals with the little dripper kit that you can do because that'll do everything for you and you know right then and there what you have to put in. The problem is, is it does take about 30 minutes because you got to get the pool sample and I don't know if you've ever messed with that before. It's not really that big of a hassle. It's just doing it. Wait a second, as I'm editing this, I need to interject. The point of getting this water guru is not to use those test kits. It's supposed to do it for you. That's the reason why I bought it. It's been kind of frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. So here's what a unit looks like after a few months usage. Eh. Also, this is what you have to buy if you've got those square utility things. My skimmer is square, so I had to buy that. It'll set you back another 20 bucks. This is a replacement of the second unit with my third unit, placing it right in the skimmer. Would I buy this thing again? I don't know. This is the Water Guru Sense 1. I gotta be honest, the customer service has been pretty spot on. I had three total units, which I don't know if is bad luck. I think the first unit they said water got into the actual testing thing, which messed it up. The second one, I didn't get a response about what happened. They just sent me another one free of charge and told me to throw away the other one. But I don't know. I would be interested in the Water Guru Sense 2. If Water Guru wanted to send me one, I'd happily do a review on that message because that's supposed to alleviate all the problems that the sense one has from that water test sample taking six days which has made me an expert at just doing my own water samples it should make life easier however if it's built the same way as this one I'm a little hesitant to trust that it'll be reliable and continue to keep working so there's that but anyway I hope this information has been helpful to you if you can give me a subscription Give me a like, throw me a comment. If you've got the Water Guru Sense 1 or 2, throw me a comment and let me know how you like it. I appreciate you guys watching this far if you have. Otherwise, John the Pilot, see ya.